Hello everybody, welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation, this is Gunlocked, an action roguelite that seems like a cross between sort of a vampire survivors and an arcade shoot 'em up which seems like a very good logical combo here. You know, like there's a lot of vampire survivor-esque games coming out now, but some of them seem like, you know, they're more logical fits than others, and this seems like one that could potentially be. And we're gonna go here and check it out. Codename Scout, Weapon Gunlock. A radar sweeps around the ship, targeting unshielded enemies, then fires 50 damage homing missiles at targets. Max three targets. Augment Aimbot. On your next Gunlock sweep, this will auto-target a random enemy at any range. 10 second recharge. Uh, you know, sure, let's just... Oh, we are right into it! Here we go. I okay. So yeah, we've got the uh, the auto targeting kind of aspect. One moment here, though. Apologies. The music was just like very loud. Okay, there we go. We got ourselves uh, back in here. I'm assuming that's an enemy. Is it not? Okay, it is. So right now we are just running around breaking these sons of guns. We're supposed to hit with our radar. Oh my. Oh my god. I beefed that entirely. That is such. A, it's such an interesting thing to try and uh, to aim with here. So anything that's hit within there is going to get targeted, but I can only imagine we're going to get a lot more different... Okay, the, I'm missing out on a little bit of XP there. A lot of different uh, types of upgrades and abilities over the course of time, as uh, comes with the genre here. My god, these uh, <laughs> the damage here is stupid. What am I doing, man? Alright, here we go. We gotta be get used to the fact that it's sort of like, it starts up to the north, and then it shoots downward. Okay, here we go. We get an upgrade. A repair drone appears in a random location when it's within range. It repairs one point of shield for every 0.33 seconds. What the heck? Okay, after three seconds, it disappears. It seems like it's a general, like, it's a heal, more or less. Your afterburners periodically fire two projectiles directly behind you, dealing 17 damage each. Recharge faster when holding the forward or backwards thruster. Creates areas of pulsing energy every two seconds. Move over them to make them detonate and shoot six projectiles out in all directions. Uh, let's give that a shot for now. So it takes like a... Okay, that's like just a little bit of a two-second son of a gun. Okay, we can step on... Oh, okay. We can step on them. They'll shoot out little projectiles. Maybe we'll uh, get some... Man, we keep on shooting things off screen. We need some faster attack speed to just actually handle these. Come on, baby! Oh, come on! It! I can't hit a darn thing with these! I mean, we're not, like, dying, really, or anything. I mean, I'm taking more damage than I probably should, but... That's on the back of me trying desperately to hit with this, uh... This sweeping... Radar. Like, that mine... The mine shot doesn't even do that much. Okay, oh, okay, bad AoE, makes sense. Two targets in front of your ship. We could also get bonus projectile range, two projectiles per mine, two extra projectiles per mine, and one extra mine. So we can rank this up. That's pretty standard fare. Or we could go for, what is this, gravity wave? Force field forms in front of your ship. When an enemy is in, within range, it triggers knocking them back. It's stunning all nearby enemies. We could... Part of me wants to try and just see what it's like to just focus fire in on one more specific thing. Come on, radar. Man. To make it clear, that is auto-firing. Nice, 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 nice. That is auto-firing. I can't, like, slow it down or anything. Okay. I mean, I shouldn't even bother with those. We're not going to get them in time. Just try and hit these landmines a little bit more often. If we could, like, actually do a little bit more damage with them, that'd be fantastic. Because the fact that they don't one-shot... I'm, like, walking into meteors, just trying to make this happen. Okay. Just, I mean, just dodge, forehead. Okay, we're gonna get a couple things here. But yeah, okay, th these mines are pretty, pretty bad right now. I, I would hope that they can, can get better, though. Ooh, huge. Okay, what do we got? Magnetosphere. Collect gems and power-ups from further away. At higher levels, it pulls bonus gems from deep space to you periodically. Oh, that's kind of cool. Afterburners purely... Uh, yeah, 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 we saw that. There's a 10% chance that when an enemy dies, they launch two bullets in a random direction around them. Dealing 25 damage each. 
You know what? Sure. It's kind of like a, a chain reaction vibe. Okay. Can I get those, though? It's not a very high chance right now, but hey, I'm, I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Here's hoping. Here's hoping. The standard gun is good, though. Like, it's just tough to actually hit with it, but when we do, can't be mad at a one-shot. Oh, my. Okay. I need that. Uh, I need some space. I need some space. Okay. You guys should all die. There we go. Oh. Oh, they, but off screen. Off screen, of course, of course. Good, good, good. Okay. All right. I mean, so far, so fine. So far, so fine. Gun lock plus one target plus 20% range. Ooh. That is kind of nice. Extra range on the AoE of the sweep. Radar array increase the number of targets your homing abilities can lock onto by one. Scouting drone and aimbot augment can affect from this. Uh, I feel like I don't really need that right now. I'm not really targeting more than our limit right now, I don't think. After locking onto a target with the targeting ray, fires an instantaneous 50 damage laser. I gotta see what that looks like. Oh, okay, so it shoots it forward? Or wait, no. Oh, interesting, okay. It it's, gives us a new little laser to aim forward with. Gotcha, I'm taking lots of damage, just trying to figure out how these sons of guns work for now. Oh, so it's kind of just we have to lock on for a little while in front of us. A little rough, a little rough, a little tough, a little tough. I want that. So it's worth getting hit for, probably. I don't know. I feel like I have a weirdly high amount of health, considering how many times I've been hit. Feels relatively generous in that regard. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What do you got? What do you got? Okay, this is starting to, this is starting to get wild. I am not the, I'm not that strong, I don't feel like. I feel like the mine, the mine situation, it's not incredible. Oh boy. Trying to get the front lock on, there we go. We keep on locking on enemies with our radar when they are long since behind us. Okay. We're not supposed to be killing every, like we're not supposed to be hitting everything, right? Projectile range, bonus projectiles per mine, and an extra max mine. You know what? Sure. What I want is more damage, probably, per mine, but hey, I can't really make that happen, I don't think. Okay, that seemed like a bigger gem. Okay, I'll admit, I'll admit, the mines are doing a little bit more now. They're doing a little bit more now. Okay. Unless I'm missing something with it. Am I? Am I? Maybe? Hive Queen approaching? Oh, that's not great. Uh, pulse Cannon target line swings back and forth in front of your ship, firing a burst of three projectiles in the line's direction, dealing 25 damage from each. Enemy trap is within the trigger radius. When an enemy trap is within the trigger radius, releases a pulse of energy around your ship that will disable all nearby traps at higher levels can trigger and destroy enemy shields and energy projectiles. What the hell, man? Uh, I'll tell you what. Sure. I'll go for the force field. I feel like pushing enemies back at this point sounds kind of nice. Well, didn't really work. We gotta get in there and hit him with the sweeping wave here. Watch out for the AoE. Scoot, scoot, scoot. It's freaking asteroids, man! Okay. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Okay, there's two right up in there. I feel like it's worth it. Good. Laser seems not bad for this situation. Auto repair. Gain shields over time or until damaged. Okay. Well, I feel like I'm, like, basically at full here anyways. Oh, get out of that! It's kind of zen in a weird way. Like, I would have thought this would be, uh, much less zen. Okay, I'm really liking that little uh, AoE pushback thing that happens, too. Seems really good. Like, we've got it. We can run up there and just auto-press auto there. 
bonk. Oh, alright, alright, so far so fine, so far so fine. Huh. Okay, okay. This is a long fight. Maybe it wouldn't be if we weren't uh, doing such bad damage. That laser is really trustworthy. That's solid DPS. Let's get everything out of there. Dodge the mine. We're fine. We're fine. You hit a little bit, it's, it doesn't really matter too much. Oh! There we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't spawn nothing. There we go. Reduces the recharge time of your ability timers by 10%. Extra projectile to all of your non-homing projectile abilities. Mm. Non-homing projectile. How many do I really have? I'm cur I'm curious. I don't think this will count for the laser. Because those are homing. It should add an extra projectile to our mine, you would think. But that's, like, not that exciting. I thought maybe it would add a projectile to that, too. But I guess it's not technically a projectile. It's fine. We'll just keep it in mind moving forward what we've just picked up, you know? Okay, so that has a freaking... Okay, the whole time. All right. I wasn't sure. Honestly, he just... That thing really does just look like the other enemies, more or less. So I was not sure that that was a, a, a pickup. This one would make sense if it was. And I bet you it's probably not as a result, right? Alright. It's off screen. Get it? There we go. Good. Man, yeah. It would be nice to know that earlier. Railgun target range up sounds kind of awesome. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Can't target that thing. I don't know why, though. Get out of here. Holy moly. I missed. Though I missed. Okay, we are running into uh, an issue where we're not targeting enough things with our AoE radar now. It was not an issue prior, but it is now. Good, 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 good. Oh boy, we're missing quite a bit of uh, moolah. Oh, push him back. Keep him on the screen. We get more. There we go. We need to be playing, like, a little bit higher up here, because otherwise we target stuff and then it falls off the screen and dies, you know? Oh my god, that noise. What the hell? The clipping! Bonus targets, bonus range, or less recharge time, even more projectiles. Let's go silly with it. I, I want them to be good, man. I want them to be good. Oops, that was just... That was not the way to do that there. They're fine. Like, can an enemy step on them, too? Like, I would assume so, right? <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, that that needs to not play all the sound effects on the same, like, track or whatever. There needs to be, like, a, a disrupted clipping uh, thing there. It stops the playing of all of it. <laughs> it's a little wild. Okay, I'm feeling strong now, man. I'm feeling strong all of a sudden. Here it comes, same thing. No? We, oh, we got a shield. Gun lock up. More, or faster target speed, faster, uh, further range on the railgun. Sounds good. I like the kind of mix of that there. I really like, I, I'm really liking the railgun though. It feels, it feels very useful. It feels very useful, very solid. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Oh boy, that went away. Wait, away at the worst time. All right, good, 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 good. Yeah. Mine's finally doing something. Mine's finally. Oh, hello! Lots of lots of missiles. Hello. Okay. Ah. I can't get to. I can't get to the one I want to. There. Push them all back. Push them all back. Not a lot of actual kills happening here. Just trying so desperately to get over there to pick up some extra goods. But the fact that we can't break these, uh, the meteors is problematic here. I would love an insta-kill even though it will destroy my ears. Okay. Ley mines 
even lower recharge time, more projectile range, two more projectiles per mine, and an extra uh, mine on the screen. Starting to add up. Starting to add up, indeed. I would like to leave this hell down here, though, desperately. So desperately. Ugh! Okay. Would I recommend mines if you pick this game up? No, not right now. They're not bad. They're, they're starting to actually get okay. But boy, it took way too... Oh, boy, it took way too long. And we fell very far behind. We got another character, though. Codename Artemis. Oh, okay, so we start with the railgun. Augment afterburners move 50% faster, but cannot be... And cannot be slowed by any effects. On your next gunlock sweep, this will auto-target a random enemy at any range. 10 second recharge. I guess I assumed that was generally like the same thing there, but I guess it was not. Okay, but starting with the railgun, I like that. I like that. I like that. Can we not kill the meteors? Ever? Alright, alright, alright. It's a nice little game. Bunk. Good deal. But yeah, maybe there's some weapons that can kill meteors. Get out of here. Okay, good deal. Simple, simple, simple. Very, very, very simple beginning here. Just kill the things. There's an actual enemy that should... Okay, pulse cannon up. Uh, scouting drone places a temporary mark on an enemy every 4.2 seconds that lasts for 3 seconds. Damaging that enemy triggers a 2-5 damage bonus. What? A 20... 25 damage bonus, maybe? There's like... It looks like there's a space in there. 25 damage bonus in there. And has a 10% chance to spawn a gem. Ooh. You know what? Let's try that out. I feel like that sounds pretty good early. Like, basically, it's a little bounty system. If something gets marked and we kill it, we get more money. On average. I like it. I like it. I like it. Yeah, swap to those. They move faster. Oh, not good. They move faster. Ooh, railgun up, probably right. Let's see. Let's try and focus all in on one thing. This maybe like a little bit stronger. We're gonna need this to be like a lot faster. Is the big thing. So maybe cooldowns was a uh, a better thing to go for early. But hey. But hey. But hey. Trying to swap. There we go. Oh. Uh, I can only go so fast, man! Go! Faster! Destroy! You got the... Tar oh, man, bad luck. There we are. Thank you. It just has a... Oh, wow. Slight chance to... Drop an extra little gem thing. Good. Lucky. Nice. Lucky. Heat sink is probably uh, a good way to go. Reduces the recharge time of your abilities. Sounds good. So I think that'll mean more uh, more targeting and more... I couldn't get that in time. And more um, laser beam. Man, maybe like a little bit of AoE on it or something. Just the fact that we keep getting locked to the, uh, the meteors. And we can't target that fast is a routine bummer here. Okay. Get out. Good. Good, good, good. It does evaporate anything it seems to touch, though. That's the nice thing. But it's just not fast enough. We might need other projectiles. Oh. All right. Gravity wave. Magnetosphere. Magnetosphere sounds kind of nice. Bonus mark duration and lower recharge time. I feel like I can't really do more than it's already got. The force field sounds nice, but... Let's do the magnetosphere. Let's give it a shot. Just It's it's different. Maybe it's really good in this. Who knows? Oh, boy. Yeah, we need, we need some raw kill potential, though. Like, we're not even able to get to the marking uh, units in most scenarios now. Just pure AoE is not doable right now. 
not good for us, not good for us. Good, got him. Can we get another one of those uh, special containers? Eh? I don't think I've gotten one on this life, that or I'm blind. Uh, that does not help us. Increase the number of targets your homing abilities can lock onto by one scouting drone aimbot. When an enemy trap is with... So, what is this? When an enemy trap is within the trigger radius, release a pulse of energy around your ship that will disable nearby traps. At higher levels can trigger and destroy enemy shields. You know... Sure? Are you saying when we're in range of these? Is that a trap? Is this a trap? I think... I... I'm at a loss, man. Okay. What's the trigger radius for a trap? Right there. There we go. That's that's very close. That is very close. I don't know about that. How usable that's going to be, really. Especially as we get... Um... Yeah, like, it's fine. That one doesn't even work, right? Oh, no, maybe it was just on cooldown. Yeah, no, that doesn't work. I'm alive, though, for now. For the time being. Yeah, I don't know. It seems kind of bad. Like, I don't even have it on off cooldown yet. Okay. Oh, man. Please. Oh! God, they need to really change that. <laughs> uh, can now destroy enemy shields minus recharge time. I feel like that's so bad, though. Okay. Oh, interesting. It's an, in it, it's an interesting little thing. It's shooting... It's, you see the dotted line? I don't get to control that. That's kind of just going at its own pace here. Seems solid, though. Blorp. Blorp, blorp, blorp. Good, though. Pulse cannon, more damage per projectile, gravity wave, gun lock. All right, let's just get a little bit more of this. It, it seems solid enough. It actually seems like one of the more solid weapons, actually. It seems more reliable than some, uh, some of the other stuff, for sure. Which is funny because it's in like going in a bunch of random directions. Hive Queen is approaching. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, maybe that would have worked. Okay, just get get up in there, get up in there, get up in there. I would like for my uh, little triple shot business to uh, actually be hitting the target here. Go to the left, thank you. Is he fully protected until all of his uh, circle boys are gone? I think that might be the case. I'm really just going to have to wait for it at this point. There we are. Man, he does not stay vulnerable for long. Shield up. Good. I think... So, I wonder if that would reduce the boss's shield, too. I, I, I guess I would hope so. Like, what else would it do otherwise? I haven't seen too much of other uh, shields. Okay. Get in there. Get in there. There we are. You just gotta burst, man. Just burst. Huh. Nope, not good. Not good, not good, not good. So he's, he's just completely invincible until these are all gone. Just completely. It makes sense. I mean, he's shielded, but like... I thought maybe he just took reduced damage, but no, he just takes zero. Flat zero. That wasn't even a, a level up. Are you kidding me? Pulse cannon, bonus projectile, bonus projectile range, projectile create speed, minus recharge time. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll give it a shot. Yeah, it's just, just quite a bit better. I mean, it, it's it's solid. Okay, I was waiting in case it was the AoE blast thing. 
So that guy is that guy's shielded off to the right, I think. I can only imagine. Bu -bu -bu -bu. <laughs> All right. Hello. Different enemies? Have I not seen those? I don't know if I've seen this. Oh! Scoot on through. Scoot on through. Get back. Get the money. Yeah, they're coming from the sides. That's tricky for us right now. Come on, shield boy. You gotta go. Huh. Scoot, scoot, scoot. All right. I'm ready to destroy my ears. Oh, no, we're good. Railgun, bonus targeting, speed, and range. Thank you. I'll, I'll take it. The targeting speed is uh, is the big thing there. Oh, I keep on forgetting the uh, the cooldown on that. We need to have that circle around us, more or less. Whoa. Got it. Lots of mines. Lots of mines. Hello. Come on. Come on. Come on. This thing. This thing. Chaos. We're doing damage, though. We're doing damage. A lot more than last time. Not relying on the dang mines. Uh, speaking up. Increase collection range by initial 25%. Uh, I'm going to do it because I want to get to whatever the void thing is. I'm curious. How much are we missing out on because we're not picking it up? Probably a decent-ish amount, but... Ah, maybe it's not that bad. Oh. Not good. Not good. Sideways. There we go. Man. They just like these slowly move in your direction. They're, they're not like they don't fully target you, but you gotta like kind of do quicker uh, abrupter movements. Okay. Get out of here. He's got the dang shield. What do we got? Now I got a dang shield. Oh boy, I'm almost dead. These guys that move from uh, left to right. Highly annoying. Okay, I was hoping for the uh, AoE blast. No dice. Creates two targets in front of your ship at a random location. After short delay, the lock in place, you launch two explosive projectiles. Tell you what, the gravity wave seems great now that we have these uh, these jerks homing in on us a little bit more directly. We're at literally one health. Not like this. So we do slowly, slowly heal over time here. Oh, that didn't go well. Oh, this is going even worse. Scoot me in. Nope. There it is. There it is. Out. Uh, let's give another shot on this one here. Let's give it another shot. Give it another shot. It's it's a weird one. It's a very weird one. We can't shoot those. Yeah. It starts in front of us and moves sideways. This is like a type of <laughs> aiming that I've basically like never had to do. It is it is strange. Okay, there we go. Get him. There we are. It's kind of fun though. Like it, it, as a it's pretty bold to have it be like, oh my god, I literally perfect fail dodge that. Oh my. Sweep. It's a pretty ambitious uh, first attack, like bold of them to not, not make it just like, you fire straight forward. I respect it. I respect it deeply. Oh my. Is it tough? Sure. 10% chance that when an enemy dies, they launch two projectiles, pulse cannon. Give me the pulse cannon. To go with it. These two together se seem like they might be a little bit more solid. Okay. I mean, it's not, it doesn't do a ton, though. It's not do a ton. If we're, like, right up in their face, we're gonna hit them with every bullet no matter what. Oh, man. But it just doesn't do a lot. Like, we are weak as hell. Which is, makes sense. You always start off weak as hell in games like this. Let's give it a shot. Let, let's try the gun lock. If we just get, uh, if we keep upgrading it, 
maybe be good. Maybe be real good. Who knows? Scoop. The range up is nice. Is very nice. And also, we like kind of don't have to aim. We both kind of don't have to aim and like really have to aim. I was really hoping that would work. Good. Get him. Replicator, lay mines, discharger. Uh, this one's a little bit trickier because it's non homing projectiles. I'll go for it. This buffs up my uh, my front beam thing. And maybe we'll get something else in the future. Who knows? Nice. Huh. Tried. Tried hard. Good. So it is a, an innately fun ability to uh, to use here. Okay, so that was... Uh, wow. I, I, okay, I don't know why that didn't target... There we go. It's an innately fun ability to use. Hit with the five limit, I think, there. Uh, no. No, yes. Thank you. Okay, now we're getting shot with the missiles. That's a little bit trickier. Little bit trickier. Good. Good, good, good. Discharge your late mines. Backdraft. Shoot behind you. Not right now. Hit me with this one. Chance, ten percent chance to shoot extra projectiles out. It's kind of a. It's usually like a little bit of a win more. Like you need enough damage to get that first kill. Otherwise, it sucks. Okay. Not worth. Whatever we target like last in this cycle is more likely to. Uh, get, it gets shot at like really really quickly. Oh man. See, here's the thing, though. We're targeting lots of stuff now, but we're going to be missing lots of the money. Because, it, see, look at that. A lot of it's behind us now. Because there's so much on screen now, which is really, really good. This weapon actually scales pretty well if we can get more targets. I like that. I'm going to get... Uh, yeah, I'm going to go for it. Even more range, so we're going to have, you know... Hit even more things, but we're gonna probably be reaching our limit pretty quickly. Yeah, this gun is it's good. It's it's like when you get a couple points into it, it's solid. Gonna make it off the screen, yep. There we go. Good. Yeah, like you really want to hit them with the tail the tail end of the sweep. So being on like the right side of the map is actually in a weird way, better. Yeah. You want to be on the right side of the map. That's such a strange thought process, but like... It's right. It's definitely true. Okay, Disruptor Heatsink Scouting Drone. I'll go with this. That, sh that should help, right? Good, good, good. Help! Oh! oh. Cover! Okay, okay. Don't have a lot to do about Shieldy Boyo. Ooh! <laughs> Radar array, increase the number of targets your homing abilities can lock onto by one scouting drone, and the aimbot can benefit from this. Uh, I mean, yeah, probably, right? Another target? I, I feel like we are probably hitting limit. I feel like we're likely. Likely, likely. Guess I'll miss that money down there. Oh, well. Scoot. Nice. Let's wait a sec on this. Well, or not. Scoot. This is so... Ah, this is so good. It makes... It makes all the other weapons look just terrible. Okay. I'm curious about the cooldown with the sweeper. How does it... How exactly does it work? Oh my god. Just hit it if I have to with my face. Okay, good. Oh, we, we beefed this. We beefed that. 
Scoop. Scoop him. Scoop that one up there. All right, get ready. Get up in there. Literally just stand in his face. Aw. Uh, it's like a, yeah, little DPS window. Nice. What is this? I've entered, like, super mode for, what, like a millisecond? What happened there? What was that? Oops. Okay. I do like the little timer on uh, on the return to the gaming. In case you need to pause or want to pause or you have to pick your items, etc., etc. I, I think that's a really nice thing. I know it's not like a wild concept, but like... I played a... Oh. Played a lot of games that don't particularly care about that. Okay, bonus targets, bonus range... Oh, this is getting tough. We're have to, like, we're really having to pick between these. But this seems like the thing right now, and I feel like the cooldown is increasing the sort of like attack speed of it to an extent. Don't know what that is. It seems like it just shoots out. We're shooting out a bunch of random shots, maybe do like extra damage or something. I don't know. I really can't tell. The radar can't target shielded enemies. Is that what's happening? Man, this weapon is just so much better than everything else. Whoa! At Matt, or like at uh, a lot of points into it. It's like night and day infinitely better than everything else. At this point, I'm just like, sure, let's just keep on going with the, uh, the two things we have. Going in on that concept seems to be working decently well. Can't wait to get back seated because I'm not playing this exactly the way you're optimally supposed to play Vampire Survivors. As if they're this I'm like as if it's the exact same game. Like everyone thinks they you know that you play a game that's like one thing and you think that all the skills will 100 percent transfer all the information, 100 percent transfers. Not always the case. Maybe. Some concepts and, and ideas may transfer over, but I promise you, like, as a man who plays lots of roguelikes, not everything is not everything is going to transfer over. Uh, bonus targets, bonus range, sweeps twice in the same amount of time? Are you kidding me? Uh, what? Alright, that upgrade is such a massive step up. That's crazy. That's just allowed? I need, I need the freaking uh, magnet ability. Just to keep up with all the funds that I'm picking up now. Oh, man, there's so much money I'm missing because I just can't... I'm, like, killing too much. I can't get everything. Suffering from success, man. Oh, my. It is, it, it is incredible, though. Whoop. Heat sink. At this point, I will... I'll go for heat sink. I imagine it's relevant. With the, uh, the radar. I would think that it'll work. Scoop. Scoop. It has a cooldown. It's very small. Oh my. Oh, this is not good. Oh, okay. That was like not good for a, a brief moment. Finally, something looks scary. Okay. I was hoping for it. Oh, AoE kill. Large wave, hello. No problem. Man, who would have thought just the freaking... St oh, I missed, missed out on that stuff. The standard weapon that you begin with is, like, by far the craziest. Just damage boost there, why not? Our shields are coming back so relatively fast that it doesn't seem like it matters. Like, why are we getting so many shields? Bonus homing targets? Probably. Get in, get out. I mean, the, the bonus homing target, I'm hoping that that's got like a really cool max level upgrade as well to it. Scoop, scoop. Okay. Huh. 
We're in there, we're in there. Man. This 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 run is uh, this run is a little bit more fun, a little bit more spicy here. I feel like we actually uh, like have the tools to handle what's being thrown at us. But I hope that it's not just like only one weapon is relatively viable. That'd be kind of a bummer. I'm sure that the other max upgrades or like high upgrades of stuff is really good too. Otherwise, it would make a lot of sense. Oops. Yeah, I'm just not that particularly fast. I can't go get all the money that's down there. Just want to make sure we're killing this stuff up here at least. Ooh, what the heck? We got different kinds of uh, mines, different kinds of enemies now. Okay, okay. Time? We're almost at 10 minutes. I feel like uh, maybe something will pop at 10. Hive Queen approaching? Yeah, okay. I mean, is this... Same general, uh, same general boss here. Okay. Definitely trickier here now, though, because we got all of the... Uh, oh, heck. We got all the asteroids. Look at all of them. Oh, you son of a gun! Also, a lot more of these mines are the uh, the blaster type. Okay, the Hive Queen has gotten stronger. I like that. I like that. That is... I was worried it was the literally the exact same fight. It is not. Okay, we're gonna not get that much damage off. It's okay. But I, I, I'm also confident that we are just gonna be fine here. I'm gonna pick up this after, because I don't know what it is, but I imagine it's like a super duper damage booster. Okay. Scoot, scoot. All right, you're dead. You're dead, you're dead, you're dead, you're dead. Okay. Kind of wanted to wait a sec. At this point, I'm like, man, just go all in on, like, uh, Discharger. Just now when we kill something, which will happen very often, they have a chance to... Ooh, a much higher chance to AoE blast everything around them. Good, good. Step back. I guess I'm understanding the reason for that, like, I don't know, that mind-breaking thing, but I feel like it's still not, still not great. I'm, su I'm kind of surprised there's no upgrade I've seen yet that can break asteroids, like, a specific thing. I mean, maybe everything can, it's just they have re oh, really high HP. Maybe that's what it is. Could be, could be. Give me more magnet. I cringe when he leaves all of the gems in the game where it's impossible to track everything down. All right, all right. Just give me the magnet. I don't think, have I been offered it? I must have been. Must have been. Huge, 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 huge. Good. Okay, we're about to hit another level up. I mean, I, I would take the radar or the homing over the magnet still probably, but I do want the magnet. And yet... Alright, so we're gonna have to do something. Uh, do we, should we take the shock bomb? Creates two targets in front of your ship in a random location. You have short delay. They lock in place and you're launch, you launch two projectiles. Sure. I'll... I'm curious. Oh, wow. Okay. These are some really unique attack patterns. I I dig them. I dig them a lot. They're very creative. Okay. They move and they stop in... Okay. Yeah, that's really interesting. I don't know if I'm going to be able to utilize them greatly, but I do really like them. I wouldn't mind, yeah, like focusing in on them. Be kind of fun. All right, I think that 20 minutes is a victory. I could be wrong. Could be wrong. Scoot, 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 scoot. I'm like on track to succeed, surely, unless things get uh, too crazy. 
I mean, we're, we're starting to see some new enemies, and we do not like shielded enemies like this guy. It is not good for us. Good. Good. Oh, boy. Because I guess our homing cannot hit them. Heat sink? Absolutely. It just makes everything that we already have better. And I'm pretty satisfied with what we have. Like, I don't want to get so many different oops, styles of weapons that I can't really, like... Oh, my God, look at that. I don't want to get so many different styles of weapons that I can't properly aim them all, you know? Because then it's just going to get suboptimal. Like, some of them are going to have competing uh, attack patterns, you know? Okay. Trying to get this so bad. Good. I want to move. Scoot, 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 scoot. Scoot, 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 scoot. <laughs> I mean, I guess, you know, we could just run through with our face and grab everything. This is turning into chaos. All right, maybe we won't make it to 20 minutes, actually. This is getting nuts. Okay. Please, please, please. Okay, we got a shield up thing there. Lots of meteorites. I'm just like walking through the meteorites at a certain point. I don't know, man. Part of me just wants to like not really move too much here. Okay, we, we can break the meteors. We can. They're just tough to break. That's literally just it. I like that. I do like that. Probably like full stand in front of them. Yeah, that, that's just what it is. They're just tough to break. Okay, I'm actually starting to die here. Do not pick that up until there's something on screen worth killing. Just like nothing showing up. What the heck? What's happening? Everything calmed down to like a pretty wild degree. It was absolutely nuts for a second. What the heck? And then it's just like, now it's just nothing. Wahapa. We're about to hit 15 minutes. I can only imagine it's going to be another high mother son of a gun. Okay. Same deal. Don't touch it for a sec. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Oh, what? Did you just spawn more? Okay, I mean, two of them is a little bit trickier. Two is a bit tricky. Just, just focus on one, though. Just focus on a single soul. Oh, God. Yeah, two is much trickier. Okay, we got one down, though. I think they have left less health. Okay, back it up, back it up, back it up. Scoot, scoot, scoot. Okay, we're about to be able to damage here. Good, please, 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 please. Nope. Back it out. Back it out. Depest the boss. Good, very good. Victory! Win game! Oh, it's 15 minutes for an... Okay. All right, not bad, not bad, not bad. There you go. I've done it. I've done it. Uh, yeah, okay, very cool. Badger, what's the last one? The pulse can sways back and forth. I mean, it's a this is a fun little game. It's a fun, uh, fun little game here. Uh, yeah, this has been uh, what is it? Gunlocked. You can pick it up for currently three dollars and fifty cents. It's it's just a nice little time, nice little uh little snack game. Uh, more or less. So, alas, alas, though, if you want to pick it up for yourself, there's a link in the top description. It is out now. The developer is going to be uh, planning on adding more, as far as I'm aware, like, uh, over the course of time. This is just the first version. I think that, yeah, like, just it's just a nice little snack game, you know? Like, I can't... When a game is currently... It's max price. Maximum price is 4 bucks, and it's going to be three fifty. It's three fifty on sale right now. And it's intending to add more. It's kind of hard to be like, yeah, I don't know. It needs more stuff. But, like, truth be told, 
I do think more stuff would obviously help a lot. Maybe, uh, you know, alternate levels, things like that would certainly be good. Alternate bosses. But I'm sure that stuff will come with time, or at least I would hope so. Uh, but again, for, for for 350 currently right now, you know, I it's a, it's a good time. I had a I had a fun little time with it. It'd be cool to see uh like the different types of builds, everything like that. But it can only get cooler from here. I hope the dev does continue to support it at that price uh, of, of four bucks. I think that then it would be it could become a very 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 good deal uh, if you know development continues. It was a nice time, uh, good merging of genres there. Uh, nothing, yeah, nothing particularly bad to say. Like, I, I guess just, uh, maybe I'm wrong, but it feels as though the starting, the starting pulse spinning weapon is just, like, way better than everything else, which is an issue of, like, maybe the other stuff should be a little bit stronger. Maybe that should be, the starting thing should be a little bit weaker, because if you're only trying to get up to 15 minutes, then, um, I don't know. I feel like, yeah, maybe, maybe just the pulse thing should, should be weaker, or the, uh, was it the radar gun lock or whatever? Uh, maybe that should be weaker for all I'm for all I'm concerned, you know? Who knows? Alas, uh, alas, that's that. That's gonna do it for today. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel for Roguelikes and more every single day. If you, you know, you like the genre, if you like this game, it seems interesting to you. You like things like this. You want to see more stuff like this. You should definitely be subscribed to this channel. Every single day, I upload new indie games. Every single day, multiple videos on them. Uh, I will make sure you do not miss anything great and new. Thank you, thank you, though, and I will see you next time. Bye.